Don't feed them after midnight. Don't get them wet. Today, we're taking a look at the Pop Movies Gremlins number 610, Flashing Gremlin. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Happy October everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pop Movies Gremlins number 610. This is The Flashing Gremlin. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. You got the Pop Movies Gremlins logo, 610. This is actually from Gremlins 2. Uh, I'm not sure why they just put Gremlins, because Flashing Gremlins, Gremlin, I'm pretty sure was from Gremlins 2. Uh, I could be wrong, but this is the same line as the female Gremlin, which was Gremlins 2. Uh, the first line of Gremlins was Gizmo and Stripe, uh, which uh, the Stripe Gremlin pop uh, was actually just named Gremlin on the package. So I'm not sure what the deal was there. Uh, very nice packaging. Love that display side. And then as you can see here, we have Greta, the female Gremlin, which... I don't know if it was ever actually made clear if Greta was a female gremlin or if she was a transvestite gremlin. Not sure. Uh, but as you know, for those of you who have seen Gremlins 2, uh, she plays a pretty decent part and at the end she actually molests the doctor from Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> of course, in that, he has a full head of hair, so. Uh, very nice. Now let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at the flashing gremlin. All right, so for those of you who don't know, uh, in Gremlins 2, uh, Billy comes across Gizmo in his workplace. Uh, he rescues him, 
and somehow water gets knocked over while Gizmo is staying in one of Billy's desk drawers and Gizmo ends up creating other little mogwais which eventually turn into gremlins. Uh, in Gremlins 2 you got for the first time uh, a wide variety of different types of villain uh, gremlins. You got the brain gremlin which could actually talk uh, and think uh, like an ordinary, like a human being. Uh, you got the spider gremlin, which was actually Spike, this generation's version of Stripe. Uh, you had the bat gremlin. You had the electric gremlin. You had Greta. And then you had uh, the tomato gremlin, the wacky gremlin, and the Flasher Gremlin. <laughs> uh, and in Gremlins 2, you see this Gremlin, he didn't really play a big role, uh, but it is still a memorable role. All you see is this Gremlin walking by wearing a trench coat and sunglasses, then all of a sudden he turns to the camera and opens his trench coat to reveal that he's naked underneath. <laughs> a very nice, very nice Gremlin. Uh, however, I do have one complaint, and that's that when I received this from Amazon, this earpiece had actually come unattached. So when I received him, his glasses were sitting like that in the box. Um, however, there is just a little peg right there and a slot right there. Just peg it right back in. Uh, it could use some glue, but I'm not going to glue it unless it becomes a problem. Uh, it's not really a problem right now, so it's no big deal. Very nice. Uh, judging looking through at looking through the camera uh, he actually looks greener than he is uh, it's more of a pea soup green in person uh, and as you can see kind of a sloppy paint job on his thumb claw uh, but overall the rest of the paint seems to be pretty crisp really like it uh, I do plan on ordering Greta as well as Gizmo uh, in the near future. Uh, hopefully I'll have them ordered in time for October so that we continue these horror pops through the month of October. Uh, of course last week we did Ash versus the Evil Dead. Uh, this week is the Flasher Gremlin. Uh, maybe next week we'll take a look at Greta if I'm able to get her. Uh, I'm filming this in August. So I should be able to get her before before the third week of October. Of course, we don't have many more pop reviews coming uh, until, uh, like I said before, I am going to fill up the rest of the year. But beginning in January, there will be no more weekly pop reviews. Uh, there will be the occasional pop review if I find a Funko Pop that I like. Um, but my my collection is just getting too big right now for where I live. Uh, for the space I have, I can't continue buying Pops at the rate I have because I'm running out of room to put them. Um, but like I said, I will do the occasional pop review in the future. And I will finish out this 2018 year. So now let's go ahead and uh, compare him to the Pop Movies Gremlins number six Gremlins vinyl figure. Uh, this one is a little bit more cartoonish looking. It doesn't quite have the same style as this one. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, why they did two different styles. Um, 
and it, it's not really I don't know it I like them both but I like this one a lot better so maybe Funko should do a stripe uh, in the same style as flashing gremlin I think that would be really nice uh, they should also do the Mogwai versions as well. But yeah, I, I'm really just noticing this now. I'm not sure uh, why they did it this way. But as you can see, very cartoonish looking. Whereas the flashing gremlin has more of the movie look to him. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.